plus. You've never seen a race like this. They're all bike messengers. Are they putting people's lives at risk? Inside Edition in high definition will be right back. Crossing a busy street is scary enough in most places, but there is an illegal form racing that can make it even more dangerous. This is called alley cat racing, and in places where it goes on, Paul Boyd reports it is causing absolute chaos. You've never seen a bike race like this. Hundreds of cyclists hit the streets pedaling as fast as they can, swerving around cars, shooting through red lights, and dodging trucks. They're tearing through the busy streets of New York City, topping speeds as high as 60 miles per hour, breaking most traffic laws. Who are these daredevil competitors? They're bike messengers. The sport, if it can be called that, is known as alley cat racing. It's illegal, and it's easy to see why. This is horrible. They're nuts. That's, that's terrible. The sport is featured in a new documentary, Line of Sight. Lucas Brunel is the cinematographer. It's an adrenaline rush. Brunel captures the death-defying feats wearing this sophisticated helmet. It has two cameras. One camera points forward, the other backward. You put yourself in situations that scare you and that make you ride faster than you ever would. And check this out. Car is going similar speed to you. Grab onto it, you can just fast forward your ride. You feel like Superman. But as you can imagine, alley cat racing can be dangerous. Just watch as pedestrians trying to do the simple task of crossing the street have to dodge these knuckleheads. Racing is also dangerous for the bicyclists themselves. This guy takes a nasty tumble, and this cyclist nearly gets run over by a car. In 2008, a Chicago alley cat racer was killed. He sped through a red light and was struck down by an SUV. But Brunel says, and this may be hard to believe judging from the video, alley cat racers put safety first. I haven't had anything serious happen doing this. Illegal alley cat racing has been around for more than two decades. Underground competitions are held in 30 cities around the world. Each race is 20 miles long, a fact that should concern motorists and pedestrians alike who could accidentally cross their path. Hey, hey, hey. Now, there is actually prize money for the winner, but in the end, the bikers say what really matters is gaining street credibility. Coming up next, the fairy tale wedding of Tom and Katie. Closed caption sponsorship for Inside Edition is brought to you by.